Seventh grader Cole Mayer was suspended for 10 days from Columbia, Illinois Middle School because of what appeared when he dialed in to his online class. 12-year-old Cole and his 14-year-old brother Jack Mayer are both avid hunters. They often keep their hunting equipment in their room, like Cole's pellet gun. In September, Cole says he was working in his online class like this when he got up and there was his pellet gun and a teacher took this screen grab. Well, the gun was behind my bed, but they said that I was holding on to the gun, but I never touched the gun. I never knew that it was in my background. I never had a clue until the police showed up. Cole's mom, an essential worker, was not home at the time. I feel like the police handled it well. They asked him if he had taken a gun or had a gun. He said that he had a pellet gun. After it was clarified that it was a pellet gun, they chatted about dove hunting. The officers had been dove hunting. While police did not seem alarmed or write a report, Columbia Middle School recommended expulsion. It wrote the mayors, the remote learning handbook specifies, look around you, make sure anything on video is something that should be seen during school time. The teacher observed Cole's screen with a gun instead of his face during the meeting for reading lab. And felt like she was granting him like lenience with a 10 day suspension but he wasn't threatening anyone. Cole is just one of many students across the country who have faced similar controversy. Last month near Colorado Springs, 12 year old Isaiah Elliott described sheriff deputies knocking on his door after he was seen handling a toy gun on camera. Also last month in Golden, Colorado, an 11 year old faced suspension for handling his airsoft gun in a class Zoom. There is no evidence Cole ever touched his pellet gun. Sherry adds that the timing of the police call shows even the school knew this was not a threat. The event happened at 11 o'clock, but you didn't call the police until 1.15 to do a well check. If you were that concerned about my son, I think you would have called it as soon as you got the screenshot. Basically, I had no education for 10 days and that knocked me off really bad and I never caught up. It's a learning experience for all. You know, we got letters from the school about being patient with them. This is a learning curve for them. Well, it's a learning curve for us at home too. We don't think about the things that are in our homes. The district had no comment beyond the letter it sent the mayors. Cole served his 10 day suspension when school here was still virtual and he lost his appeal to get it removed from his record. For the Fox Files, I'm Chris Hayes.